welcome to my favorite neighborhood. My name is Jonathan Soriano. I own a wine business here on the verge of Fredericksburg, the bohemian neighborhood of Copenhagen. Of course, people go to this part of the city for the food, the unique shopping, and the nice parks. But Fredericksburg is also packed with some of the most charming, exciting and child-friendly exhibition spaces, museums, and intimate theater stages. The best thing, they're all located in close proximity. So follow along as we're going to visit some of the most interesting cultural destinations this fine city has to offer. First stop of the day, Bakehuse, a historic museum on Rapex Allee that also has one of the nicest cafes in the summer. Here, I'm meeting with Reiki, the museum's director, to learn more about this historic space. We're at Bakehuse today. Frederiksberg City's eldest building. This place was a meeting space for writers and poets of the Danish Golden Age. Uh, here used to live a couple named Kama and Knut Lune Rabeck. We're in the heart of everything. This is the yellow room. This is the room where Kama and Knut entertained poets, scientists, writers, all the cultural figures, the likes of Jose Andersen, Ørsted, there's also something for the kids and adults like me that wants to touch and feel. Oh, Hans Christian Andersen studio. Work, we got buttons, we can record. Hey, what's up? I'm a poet. I lost my marbles and I found them. We're at Mustang House. At the entrance into Fikes Bear Hill, you'll find this stuffy looking building. It's actually an exhibition space. It's free of charge. It's child friendly. Not far away, we have Sisternerne, an exhibition space for contemporary art located in a cave underneath the city. We're in Sønderbakken. Sønderbakken is one of two parks here in Frederiksberg. Over there you have Frederiksberg Castle and Frederiksberg Hill. And today we're going to Sisternerne. Sisternerne is an old water reservoir from the mid 1800s. Today it's a exhibition space for contemporary art run by the city of Frederiksberg and uh, we're going to go down there and check it out. This is a cold and damp and spooky and at the same time absolutely marvelous place to be. Although the name has changed, this beautiful building has housed theaters since 1869. But since the 1980s, the theater has carried the name of its former artistic director, Betty Nansen. Now we're getting all cultural, Betty Nansen's theater. We're in between plays. That means I got a green pass to go backstage to explore. Come on, let's go check it out. What a great way to end the day, enriched by culture and calm by artistic expression. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you here soon. That's all, folks. 